All right, this is really some special story. High school students coming together all to make a 78 year old hospice patient's final dream come true. So Jamie joins us live with the Red Mountain High School students that are helping Irby Blakesley fly in a hot air balloon this morning. This is really cool. Jamie, good morning. Scotty, you, you never know what, what kind of assignment you're going to get. So I just spent the last 45 minutes chasing a big red balloon. Vic, show him the balloon because it just landed uh, here behind me and on board, of course, 78-year-old Irby Blakesley. It's uh, one of her final wishes, and she's a hospice patient. And she went up with her two kids. So we have Carol and Jim with me. Uh, and why was this her wish? She's just been always adventurous, and she's wanted to go up in a hot air balloon for many years, and we've just never been able to make that happen for her. And so it was mentioned to us uh, by dream catchers, and they help hospice patients fulfill their final wishes. And what was her reaction while she was up there? Oh, she was, she was happy. She was just looking out and around and seeing everything that was around. She we have video a of Irby uh, when she was getting uh, on board this hot air balloon. Uh, and we do want to talk about the Red Mountain High School Dream Catchers because that is that high school group that makes dreams come true. And we talked to them about making Irby's dream come true today. Being able to see the dreamers and their families, how happy they are, it's an amazing feeling just to be able to make something that probably wouldn't have happened to happen. Yeah, and if you take a look at Irby, uh, she's who, is she beckoning, she's beckoning her children <laughs> uh, to the car. You know what? I'm glad she enjoyed her day today. And, and Jim, it's cold on the ground. How did it feel up there? What was she doing up there? I was just taking it all in. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, no doubt about it. So 78-year-old Irby, she's back on the ground after a, a dream that she had of going up in this hot air balloon. They even had a little seat in here for her so she could just sit and chill, enjoy the view. And again, she is an ALS uh, patient, so we wanted to talk to the daughter and son. Uh, but it looks like she enjoyed her uh, voyage in the air. So maybe you saw her from the roadway as you're headed to work this morning. Back to you.